Welcome to QuickBooks Monday, a limited series where we share expert insights related to all things QuickBooks. Today's guest is Beth Blaney, a certified QuickBooks Advanced Pro Advisor who has propelled her bookkeeping skills into a unique entrepreneurial endeavor. Her magic power is making QuickBooks understandable and fun. Yes, fun. So let's dive right in. <laughs> <laughs> so, Beth, to make sure we're all on the same page, perhaps you could tell us what is QuickBooks? Because I know there's a lot of misconceptions about it. Sure. So there are two different types of QuickBooks, but it's accounting software. And it's for small to mid-sized businesses. And you can have either the desktop version or the more popular these days, online version. Uh -huh, I bet. <laughs> yeah. So the desktop version is kind of starting to go by the wayside. The developers at QuickBooks are spending more time making QuickBooks Online a better experience. Okay. Is it in the cloud? It is in the cloud. You can access it from anywhere, any computer. They put you through the whole, you know, two-factor authentication process and everything. So it's secure wherever you log in. Well, I haven't heard any stories about QuickBooks actually being hacked the way you hear stories all about many other enterprises. Don't so. say that out loud, Mary. I know. I know. I didn't say him knocking on wood. I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you said small and medium-sized businesses. Who typically uses it? So, you know, there are a few options out there, but in the United States, QuickBooks is kind of king or queen. Yeah. <laughs> um, queen. And anyone from the very beginning entrepreneur, solopreneur, starting out up to, you know, a $10 million a year company. Anybody who is a business, which means you need to file your taxes, which means you need <laughs> to have your books in order and also to be able to run reports and be able to analyze your business and what you have done and what you can do and what changes you might need to make. So those are all really important reasons to be tracking your numbers in something beyond a spreadsheet. The spreadsheet. Okay. Or oh, Yes. And I love Excel. So I'll just say that I'm not going to own up to anything. <laughs> so <laughs> what, do, what do you like best about QuickBooks? I know you're like really into it. Yeah. It's, you know, not necessarily as intuitive as one might think, but I love the system. I talked to a lot of people who tried to use QuickBooks online 10 years ago, and it was so awful that they're never even thinking about using it again. And what I tell every single one of those is you can not believe how much it's changed in the last 10 years. I was in that same boat. I used QBO 10 years ago and went, get me out of this, get me back to desktop. I'm never touching online again. <laughs> they have done so many improvements that now it's kind of the other way around. You know, for example, if you're familiar with QuickBooks desktop and bringing in all your transactions, you know, yes, you can pull in a bank feed and pseudo automate that, but it's a pain. It's not clean. It doesn't function in the way that you would hope it would. Whereas QuickBooks online is really made for integrations. So you can use it to integrate with your bank. You can use it to integrate with your payment processor, with your CRM, with your AP software, if you use something else, with your AR software, if you use something else. So it's really a platform to be kind of the hub of all of the other stuff that you're using to make the bookkeeping piece that much easier and more accurate. Okay. All right. That's pretty interesting. So before we get to some of the programs that QuickBooks integrates with, very quickly, I'd like to invite you to subscribe. It's free and completely private. You can unsubscribe at any time by ringing the bell next to the subscribe button. If you're on YouTube, you'll be notified when we post new AP content, which we do two or three times a week. And of course, in the upcoming weeks, we're going to have on Monday, our special QuickBooks Monday. So if you're interested in that, make sure you click on that bell, especially next Monday when Beth is going to smash some of the common misconceptions about QuickBooks. And by the way, you don't need a YouTube account to subscribe. If you're on YouTube, you can subscribe using a Gmail account. Okay, so Beth, I was intent on getting to the meat of this talk, and I completely forgot to ask you to tell us a little bit about yourself. So can you tell us a little bit about Beth Blaney? 
Sure. So I have been working in finance for probably about 15 years and I learned QuickBooks from a CFO actually at a company that I was working with and it just clicked. It was just something that worked for me. Now that was desktop, mind you. And so I learned bookkeeping on desktop on accrual basis. Okay. So <laughs> most of what I do now is on cash basis. So that's just easy. <laughs> but yeah, so I went on my own in 2016 and I thought that I was just going to do outsourced bookkeeping in the biomed R and D area. And then I discovered there's a whole world out there of other industries. And I became an entrepreneur. I built a business. We now have a team of nine bookkeepers and admins, and we handle the bookkeeping for all sorts of industries. And more recently, over the last probably year, I've started teaching QuickBooks. Oh, okay. So yeah, I always wanted to be a teacher. I never wanted to be a bookkeeper when I grew up. I wanted to be a teacher when I grew up. So now you so, can marry the best of both worlds. Exactly. So now I'm teaching entrepreneurs how to use their own QuickBooks. And I recently put out a course that's a do it at your own pace, learn how to use QuickBooks and not just the tactical pieces, but the whys and yeah, cool. why am I doing this? And why do I need to look at that? Or why do I care about, you know, this report? Okay. So we're going to have some links to Beth's website and her course down below in the show notes, if you're interested. Okay. So back to the real world, if you will, can you give us some examples of programs that QuickBooks integrates with? Sure. Oh, that's the fun stuff. When you use the word fun earlier, I love integrations. So we work with a lot of coaches and creatives and they often use software for onboarding, such as Debsato or HoneyBook or 17 hats and they make it sound like it's such an easy integration, <laughs> but there's a lot of knowledge that goes behind getting them integrated. <laughs> so, you know, you definitely want some support if that's something that you're doing, but it works great once it's done and set up properly. Other integrations would be, you know, if you're using bill.com for AP or AR, there's an easy, easy integration. Melio is actually integrated as well, which also does AP and AR. Yeah. And then for other integrations, there's things like Square, Amazon. I think Amazon's my new favorite one. Really? Um, as long as you have an Amazon business account, it'll actually take a feed of all of your Amazon items that you purchased mm -hmm. and put them into your QuickBooks to let you decide was this business or not. And it brings the receipt in. So you don't have to go and save the receipt from the Amazon website. So there's so many different fun things that you can do. You can even look up QuickBooks online integrations and you'll get actually the QuickBooks store and it'll show you just examples of all different kinds of software that'll integrate. And my guess is that they're continually adding. Absolutely. You know, they open up their API occasionally and they let new people in anything from, you know, your CRM to your inventory management system to your, you know, like I said, payment management system or really so many. And don't even get me started on Zapier. I could talk about Zapier for days. The things that that software can do, if you have a software that doesn't integrate with QuickBooks, Zapier. Zapier. We use Zapier here. We yeah. Use, and you know, the other thing about it, it's cheap. Yes. I don't want to even say inexpensive. It's cheap. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. I like it. And I don't say that often about software. <laughs> okay. We could talk about that Zapier and QuickBooks, but anyway, so I could talk forever with you, but anyway, we'll try not to do that to the audience. Um, you have some resources to help folks with QuickBooks and learning QuickBooks. Do you want to just talk for a minute about that before we say goodbye for today? Yeah. So like I mentioned, I've been teaching for the last year or so, and I realized that in that teaching, there is so much information. And so I wanted to find a way to present that information 
to entrepreneurs or to the admin staff that are working with businesses and using QuickBooks, I wanted to be able to provide them with a bite-sized way to learn the ins and outs. So I created this course, it's got eight modules, and then I'm just gonna be adding bonuses constantly. And really it goes from how to choose which version of QuickBooks you need to how to enter bills and create invoices to how to make those invoices look pretty and how to build reports, but not only how to build reports, but why you want to build those reports. What does a balance sheet mean and why does it matter to you? So I really kind of run the gamut in this course. It's probably about, I want to say eight to 10 hours worth of material in five to 10 minute videos. Oh, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. So oh, and it's, you could do one at lunch every day. Exactly. <laughs> and there's downloads and there's links to things. So I really just want to be as helpful as possible because the way I look at it is that while QuickBooks is very intuitive, <laughs> I you, am have to, <laughs> yes, you have to set it up to be what? intuitive. It doesn't just come out of the box and do your books for you. Like that's never going to be a thing. So you need to understand how to manipulate it in a way that works for you. And this course, I believe, guides you through that to be able to get it. And maybe you take this course because you're an entrepreneur and you don't yet need bookkeeping. You don't need to pay a bookkeeper or you're not yet at a point where you can pay a bookkeeper. This is a good interim option. Again, something for the admin who might have some bookkeeping background, or maybe all they're doing is entering AR or AP or purchase orders, right? But At they least it gets really them- They understand what they're doing. Right. Because they may have been trained, hit this button, hit that button, enter this here, and then something goes wrong there. In <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the goal, is to just get people more comfortable in there. And I say things like, don't be afraid to click on things. Right. Don't be afraid to play with this or figure that out. It doesn't have to be scary and overwhelming. Which it sometimes is. Yeah. Well, I have to tell you guys, if you're enjoying listening to Beth chat, you'll also like episode 93, where she shares her insights on starting her unique business. On YouTube, a link will appear to the left. And don't forget to check back with us next Monday when she'll be with us to discuss common misconceptions about QuickBooks. We'll be posting for the next few Mondays sessions with Beth. As always, I very much appreciate your thumbs up, your comments, and your shares. So a huge thank you to everyone who does so.